Hi there, welcome to 9 to 42. I'm Andy Hillier, uh, and this was a request for Wrong Side of Heaven by Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, I don't really know the band, but um, this song's cool. I like it. So it's got a, like, a little arpeggio bit that we're going to learn, and it's got a lead solo for the intro as well. Uh, and we might get on to some power chords for the chorus as well. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so the little arpeggio goes like this. Sounds nice. So this goes through all the intro and the verse. So it starts off with the first finger on the B string on fret uh, 8, second finger on D9, so the D string at the ninth fret, and your third finger on G9, so G string at the ninth fret. So I often say just the letter, which is the string name, and then the number, which is the fret. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. So we've got B8, second finger on D9, and third finger on G9. And we just play the D string, and then the B string, and then the D, uh, G string, and then the D string. So it's a D string once, and then you're gonna come from the B string up the three strings. So you get this. And then you do the uh, B, G, and D strings another four times. So it's like kind of five times in total. Hopefully that makes sense. So D string once, and then you're going up from the B string, and you do that three time, uh, five times. So you go. Yeah? So let's try again, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Or up to speed. pick direction I'm doing, I, I use it down for the first one, then I go down, up, up. It's just kind of an easier way for me to play. Okay, so that's the first arpeggio. The next one goes to your first finger flat across the seventh fret on the uh, G and the B strings, and your third finger on D9. So it goes like this. So if we put those together, there's like no gap in between it, so slowly it's. And then it's your first finger flat on the seventh fret, so across the D, G, and the B strings. Okay, so so far you got. So the last one is your first finger on G6, second finger on D7, and your third finger on B7. Okay, so if we put it all together, you get this. to speed. Hopefully that's made sense for you. Um, and then over the top of that, it's got a little lead sort of solo bit that goes.
nice little lead guitar -y type part. Um, starts off on the seventh fret of the E string. Um, now, when they play this, I think they detune their guitars, but I just worked it out just by listening to the track. Um, so I've just done it in, with normal tuning on the guitar. So fret seven on the E string. And then it goes down a string onto A7, and you're gonna play that twice. And then uh, slap your third finger, hammer on, onto the ninth fret. So you got. And then we go down to the D string, and we're gonna play seven. And we'll slide up two frets to nine. So we've got this so far. Okay, nice bit of a bro, always makes it sound cool. So seven on the E string. Then seven, seven, hammer on, and then seven on the D string, slide up. So you got. Okay, then we go to the B string on fret seven. And then we're gonna go seven, eight, ten, eight, seven. So. And then on to the G string on fret nine and then to fret seven on the G string, and then we're gonna slide up from seven to nine on the uh, D string. So that little bit goes. Okay, so so far we've got this. the seven on the seven, uh, B string with the hammer on onto the eighth fret and it kind of holds that for a little bit longer than you expect and then back to fret seven and then we're gonna go on the G string nine seven nine so that goes uh, we'll go from the beginning it goes Just goes to the G string, goes nine, seven, nine, and then to D nine. So the whole thing goes. hammer on on the second last or third last note from the seven to the nine I did a hammer on there and then it just repeats all of it apart from the very first note so if we put it all together it should sound like this a little solo it goes uh, at the uh, in the intro and it also goes after the first chorus and then the chorus of the song goes that's just some power chords starts off on again they're tuning their guitars down uh, I'm not really sure what they're tuning their guitars down to probably a low D or something um, but the way I'm gonna play it in standard tuning first finger on fret 7 on the E string third finger on uh, the A string on the ninth fret so a power chord then move down two frets to the fifth fret 
So first finger's on five, third finger's on A7. And then down to the third fret. And then the second fret. Then back to the fifth fret. So you've got seven, two, three, five, three, two, five. So it's a bit of a weird timing to go. And then you're gonna play on the top string uh, 10, 9. So you get this. Okay, so 7, 5, 3, 2, 5, and then on the top string 10, 9. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the second time through of doing the chorus, it does the same idea, um, but at the end it goes seven, five, three, two, and then does a little um, little riff, but I can't do it because it's too low. But it's it, up an octave. It sounds like this, which is on the A string fret seven, and then E string fret nine, and then fret ten. Okay. So that goes, second time through the chorus goes, seven, five, three, two, then that little A7, E9, E10, so the second half of the chorus. Okay, if we put that together with the first part it goes. It's repeating. There is actually one chord just before the chorus at the uh, fifth fret. So it just hits uh, five and seven, and then it goes, which brings you into the chorus. Uh, and that's about it. There's a lead guitar solo, but I'm sure you can work that out nice and easy for you. Well, thanks for watching this. Hopefully, it's made sense, uh, especially to the person who requested it. Uh, it's a great song. It's got quite an old one, 2014. But it's quite fun to play, especially like the little lead intro bit. Well, thanks for watching this. If you've got any requests, if you could put them in the comment section. Uh, if you could like this video, that'd be great. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, 9to42. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.